Hey everybody, I hope everyone is doing okay out there. It's been a crazy couple weeks around here, as I'm sure most of you know by now, and I wanted to spend a few minutes uh, talking about all of that to anybody who will listen. I have some notes I'll be looking over in case you're wondering what I'm looking at. I had to put some notes together because those of you who have watched this channel long enough know that if I'm left to my own devices, I will go on and on and on and on and on. And I don't want to keep you guys here for two hours. So my whole life, my biggest flaw has been my inability to stop, process and respond. I go right to respond. And I think that's pretty obvious by now. When I feel the need to defend myself, I go right to respond and then I go later to regret. And then I tell myself I have to learn from this situation. But guess what? I do it again. I've apparently been a horrible student and I haven't learned a damn thing. I've also never had to defend myself uh, against the kind of accusations that were levied at me. And honestly, I didn't know how to process them. In my attempts to quickly defend myself and quickly control my narrative, I know I hurt people with some of the things I said. And while I know the place where those things were coming from, and I know the true intent behind them, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, people were still hurt by those words. They were hurt my, by my words. And for that, I apologize. I'm truly sorry. That's all I can say at this point. I've never had accusations like these thrown at me and having it done in this big of a public eye, YouTube, Twitter, I hadn't had a following like this before. Normally it was amongst friends or coworkers. Um, it's really opened my eyes. It's really opened my eyes to say the least when it comes to how words affect people and how you really need to think about what you're going to say before you say it because not everybody knows what's in here. So my need to defend myself hastily ended up disappointing a lot of people. And I recognize that, but all I can do now is learn, learn from it, learn from the situation. And um, if this doesn't fix my problem, my huge character flaw, then I need to really figure out if I belong here on YouTube. First, I've deactivated my Twitter. Hold the jokes. Yes, it's for real this time. Twitter is too real time for someone like me who was always ready to battle, always ready to go to war. Just it's, it's too rapid fire for me. And also deactivating Twitter is going to keep me from engaging with instigators who now know how to get a rise out of me. And that's my fault, not theirs. Um, I'm good with YouTube. I'm good with YouTube comments for some reason. But when it comes to the twits, obviously not. I'm going to take a few days off from YouTube and then I'm coming back uh, to work on more weight loss videos, some reaction videos and other stuff I have plans. I've talked about uh, some plans that I have for this channel in previous lives. So I still wanna continue doing that and I want you know whoever wants to be here for it to join me. I'm asking my supporters to stop engaging on all platforms and stop attacking or participating in any attacks because it's keeping the fire burning and that's not why I started this channel. It's not why I started any of this. Again, that's my fault, not yours. I should have led by example. I did not and I failed you miserably. So now at this point, it's gone far enough. It is what it is. I finally learned that I need to just turn around and walk away and move forward because what's done is done and I really need you all to, to do that as well. I'm asking you to do that for me. Thanks for listening. And for those of you who still want to stick around, I'll be back soon.